prayer to remember those who have passed. The Hebrew words ring through the streets of London, where roughly 20,000 people wave Israeli flags and hold pictures of the more than 200 hostages still held by Hamas. I'm sure they'll do everything in their power to get back the people taken, kidnapped. Uh, but at the end of the day, they, they have to deal with Hamas. They have to, it can never, ever, ever happen again. My family were in the Holocaust and my grandmother died in Auschwitz. We said never again. It's kind of never, we can never let it happen again. The emotional yet peaceful demonstration a very different scene than the pro-Palestinian protests that took place earlier, with an estimated 100,000 demonstrators in London chanting anti-Israel sentiments. While mass anti-Israel protests like this one have erupted around the world, many foreign leaders say their country as a whole doesn't share the same message. We say to our friends in Israel and to all Jews, you are not alone. We stand by your side in these terrible hours. Your pain is our pain. The same pain in Europe also felt in the United States. It's really this gathering is to, to come together and to share our feelings about what happened two weeks ago to our brothers and sisters in Israel. And it's painful for each one of us. So it's really to show our support that the nation of Israel, they are not alone. We are here with them. Images around the world of communities coming together. Sharing their pain for the people of Israel.